Hey everyone, welcome back into Mountain Dog Companion. Hanging out here with Lori and Jedi's puppies here. Uh, they were born on March 9th, so we're coming up on about five and a half weeks right now. Doing very well, they're coming along great, and everyone seems to be doing very well as far as health, um, from a structural standpoint. As of right now, we're enjoying the cool grass. It's a beautiful summer evening here in Ohio and it's about probably upper 60s right now and just really beautiful in the shade. They're enjoying the cool grass, just hanging out, taking it easy. Um, so today I'm gonna talk about their personalities and talk about their size and just talk a little bit about each one to give you a good feel. I know there's a couple people waiting here um, on this litter and I know everyone's super excited uh, to see some more Jedi babies and of course so are we. So. Uh, very excited. I got the five girls here and then there's five boys. I wanted to split it up a little bit to make it less confusing for me um, and help me out. So, um, but we'll move on to the five boys then. Uh, so stay tuned. Um, starting things off, we're just going to go through, like I said, talk about each one. We did names, we did pictures, uh, we did the whole nine yards. And so they're pretty tuckered out right now and definitely um, a little bit more on the lazy side so um, as of right now um, and now starting things off we got Jamaica beautiful girl you got the nice round head nice white socks kind of got the tippy toes covered here up front with a nice amount of white and that nice white cross up front for the tuxedo and that nice thin blaze in between the eyes along with a white tip tail nice short and stocky girl here to start things off right in the middle of the pack. Not the most outgoing, not the most spontaneous, but also not the most laid back. I would say a little bit more on the outgoing side, if anything, very Velcro, loves her people. Um, she'll curl up pretty close here and just um, enjoy the cool grass. They're absolutely loving it. Um, with their heavy coat and thicker coat, they absolutely love the cooler grass. Um, and it's just probably probably feels pretty good um, and when it's in the 70s it was pretty hot today um, so getting into uh, the second one this is Katrina Katrina here one of the smaller girls I'd say the smallest girl but still keeping that nice blocky structure um, nice round head beautiful socks front and back um, you got the tippy toes again covered up front nice tuxedo beautiful white blaze and just a beautiful girl overall. If you're curious about those noses, I noticed it for her for sure. She's got a little bit of white and pink coming through there. Um, if you're curious about those, it'll turn black. Most times it'll happen around seven to eight weeks and um, it'll just start filling in. It's just a lack of uh, color pigment and it'll definitely fill in. So uh, just, I mean, even here in a week or two, you'll definitely be able to see the difference. Uh, moving on, we got Ivy here. Ivy is a nice chunky girl. I'd say second to biggest here out of the girls. Um, again, nice round head. And these guys, as far as confirmation, uh, they just, they're phenomenal. Um, so those white socks front and back, nice white tuxedo, beautiful white blaze in between the eyes, nice amount of tan as well. Uh, those eyebrows really start popping for her. Nice big girl. Um, and she is a chunky girl, more laid back, more chilled out. She'll just kind of curl up um, and take it easy. I'd say she's probably the most laid back out of the girls. Um, there's two girls that are really, really laid back um, out of the group. So um, definitely talk about her. I'll talk about her next, actually. The biggest out of the litter. Yeah, I'm going to wake you here. <laughs> um, here you go, girly. See if I can, I can help you out here. We got Miss jelly here so jelly i'd say the biggest out of the litter um i'd say her build is a little bit more petite um when comparing the two here so i'll just show you here mm. so a little bit more of a thinner uh, petite structure but overall um, i'd say a little bit heavier um, when comparing the two not much of a difference there you got white socks up front white socks in the back and that beautiful white blaze along with a little bit of a Swiss kiss here um, and the white tip tail. And like I said, I mean, very laid back, very easy going. These two are definitely the two laid back ones out of the girls. Now, obviously everyone looks super laid back right now uh, with everyone <laughs> curling up and wanting to take a nap. So we'll keep rolling here. I got one more to talk about and we'll move on to the boys. Um, 
kind of rounding things out here, we got Kitty. Um, Kitty is, in my opinion, well, in my, it's just my favorite as far as structure, uh, confirmation, everything, kind of toes, socks, line up, um, nice tuxedo up front, you got the nice blaze, a good amount of white there, you got the white tip tail, just overall beautiful confirmation, nice short and stocky, very bulky girl. And I'd say she's one of the more outgoing ones. She's very like in tune, so she'll really be spontaneous with her surroundings. Um, you can get her attention pretty easily. Come here, girls. Look, look at yeah. Can you say hi to Krista? Can you say hi to Krista? There you go. Um, but one of the more outgoing, very like spontaneous. So um, if you have her, if you say something to her or try and get her attention, she'll she'll definitely respond to it pretty quick. Um, so a very spontaneous girl. I wouldn't say super energetic, but still, still leaning more on a, a higher drive, if anything. So she'll, she'll get up here and give you a nice standing pose. Um, there you go. Good girl. So that'll wrap things up for the girls, and we'll move right on to the boys. What's up, fellas? Okay, moving on to the boys here. Um, they're a little bit more active. They might tuck her down, but they, they had a little bit of a nap here while we were doing uh, the girls and we just woke them up pretty abruptly. So I got one taking a nap already here, but they're pretty active, pretty outgoing right now. See if it'll last. Um, energy levels don't last very long for these guys um, at this age. So we'll keep rolling here. I got Hunter here. Um, he is the smallest boy in the litter. Um, nice white blaze in between his eyes, white socks front and back and that nice white tip tail. Now one thing I do love about uh, this little guy here is he kept his confirmation. Um, he's got a nice round head. Everything's proportionate. Even though he's got a smaller frame, he's still short and stocky. I mean, he, <laughs> and he'll just flop down. He wants to take a nap. But just short and stocky, very heavy set. Um, he's just a little bit smaller than everyone else. And I feel like that'll definitely, like he'll come around um, as well, and you can definitely see the head structure there. Um, nice round head just overall. So beautiful looking guy there to start things off. And we'll keep rolling here. Okay, moving on, we got Mr. Nash. So Nash is one of the big boys here. Um, beautiful socks up front, beautiful socks in the back. Nice cross as well for the tuxedo. And the white blaze, got the white tip tail overall. Big loafer here. Um, I'd say middle of the crowd when it comes to energy. Um, if anything, leaning towards the laid back side. Um, very cuddle bug ish and very Velcro. So he loves his people. Uh, very in tune with his people. Right, buddy? Yeah. And super, super sweet. So uh, moving on, we got Nash. And then um, see who we have taking a nap over here. We have Mr. We have Oscar. Oscar taking a nap. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah, I know. It's a rude awakening. We got white socks in the back, white socks up front, and that nice tuxedo. White tip tail, white blaze. Beautiful looking guy. As far as size, he's in the middle. So, not the smallest, not the biggest. I'd say he's right in the middle. Um, so, beautiful guy here. And I'd say as far as energy levels, he's one of the more spontaneous ones. Um, him and the guy right here, we were having an argument earlier. Um, and I guess he won because he's sleeping pretty good. Um, but he, um, both of these guys have a little bit more of a, a personality, I guess you could say. Maybe a little bit more um, kind of amusing. They, they'll have an argument. They'll be a little bit more vocal. Um, and they'll have fun with it. So... Uh, that's kind of his personality. Now he he's not high energy. He's not high drive. Just very spontaneous um, and a little bit more leaning towards that uh, confident side. Like just very confident and sometimes um, almost confident enough to win an argument. So uh, sweet guy. And we'll move right on. I think we have Nico here. Um, let me see here. I'll just grab him real quick. Come here, buddy. Yeah, come here, buddy. I got you. Let me bring you back here. This is either Nico or Hercules, and I actually think it's Hercules, not Nico. Let's see here. 
Nope, I was right. I was right to start things off. So we got Mr. Nico here. Um, nice, round, heavy set guy. I'd say he's the biggest out of the boys. Um, so a nice, round, blocky structure, short and stocky. Um, you got the white socks front and back. A little bit of a Swiss kiss up top. And just overall, a really nice amount of white coming through along with that white tip tail here in the back. So a really nice looking guy here. Um, and like I said, a little bit more of a spunky personality. Um, definitely the type to have a little bit of a vocal argument and have fun with it. Right now he's just gonna plop down and take it easy. So um, again, that's Nico. What's up, buddy? How are you? Yeah, are you telling me to knock it off? We got one more to talk about. We got Hercules down here taking a nap. Let me grab him real quick. He's also one of the bigger boys. Come here, buddy. Yeah. Grab you, bring you back to my spot. Yeah, good boy. Okay, so Hercules here, just a little bit smaller uh, when comparing him and Nico. Um, just a touch smaller. Nice white blaze, white socks front and back, and just beautiful structure as well. You got that white, um, the white blaze in between the eyes and the nice round head structure to kind of go with it. Um, so beautiful looking guy here. Uh, to kind of round things out and he is I'd say the most laid back out of the boys a little bit more on the chill side um, just lower energy more loafing around very content um, not very vocal just pretty chill so uh, super sweet guy to round things out if anyone has any questions about this litter or any questions in general feel free to reach out to me my name is Jay Miller here at Mountain Dog Companion my number is 330-234-0102 I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you have a great rest of your day